morning. Speaking of summer, are you uh, planning some road trips? Well, as most schools wrap up this week, the summer driving season will soon be in full swing. But the recent conflict in Iraq may have prices at the pump climbing higher than expected. Three on your side, consumer reporter Jim Donovan explains. Gas prices weren't supposed to take much of a ride this summer, pretty much on par with last summer's range. But the increase in violence in Iraq by Islamic militants could push prices higher. Obviously, if in fact ISIL uh, was able to obtain control over uh, major output, significant refineries, uh, that could be a source of concern. Oil markets were counting on Iraq to increase stability over the next few years, and with that, increase its output. Iraq produces about 3.3 million barrels of oil a day, the second biggest provider in OPEC after Saudi Arabia. Since oil prices are influenced by what might happen in the future, even fears of losing Iraq's supply can force oil prices higher, a cost eventually passed on to consumers. For people at the pumps, it's, it's a bad scene because there are no real reasons for oil to drop here. The risks right. continue to remain on the upside. Iraq is only one of several geopolitical issues that are out there. And in fact, we're going to see higher prices. Now, higher prices, but not the highest prices that Americans have seen at the pump in recent years. Many analysts expect to see U.S. gas prices pass, not to see U.S. gas prices pass an average of $4 per gallon. So good, yeah. could be better, yeah. but we'll be following this. You know, every week we usually get the AAA report, so right. we'll, we'll be letting you know how it turns out. All right, Jim. Mm -hmm. Happy yep. summer, right? Yeah, Thanks. we'll be right back.